Welcome back. This is Mike from Digital Offensive, and you're watching my path to OSCP. Today, we're going to take a look at Lin Security uh, from Bone Hub. Uh, what caught my eye about Lin Security was it was a, a way to practice privilege escalation using misconfigured services. And the one reason I find this really interesting is this is the path to root on a lot of the hack the box systems. And just in general, it's great to know how to take a misconfigured service, uh, uh, a system to be able to escalate from your user account to becoming root system admin, so on, on other boxes. Uh, some of the things I didn't like about this box is it says it comes configured in NAT mode. It says you can put it into bridge mode. It never joins my network. Um, when I try to run DCPD to get it to connect, there's a lot of problems with that. So I can never get it to actually connect to my network, which actually kind of limited some of my attack vectors, which I think would have been really cool to show in this video. I just don't have the time to con uh, continue playing with it, try to figure out how to properly configure or how to fix the problem that's at hand. With that being said, I do have a lot of cool tricks to show you. I won't go through every single way that I found on this box, just because if I do it all, you're not going to have the opportunity to learn. So when you download this VM, it's an OVA file. It's easily set up and um, using VMware Fusion works. All right, so we're going to log in. And when you first start off the system, they tell you it's Bob. Password is secret. And you, we can log in. You see the banner, Lin Security. Um, if we check if config, we can see there's a Docker image. Um, with the IP 172.17.0.1 and a local loopback interface. So it doesn't really connect to my network. Um, it's grabbing a static IP. I've tried multiple times to try to edit that, as I said earlier, but we couldn't get that to work. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do here is let's see what we have to run as sudo. Now you can see down here we have a lot of options. We have uh, several shells out there. You have ash, which is a shell, bash, that's a shell, sh, csh, dash. So all those are shells. And then on top of the shells, we actually have user programs that we can use too to bypass, uh, to use shell escapes to basically bypass the user to root, uh, such as um, awk, curl, pearl, find, vi, vim, and so on and so forth. Um, there's a lot of um, cool features there that we can misuse to get to root, and we're going to go through some of them. So the first one we have here is Ash, right? So if we wanted to basically use sudo, we just type in sudo slash bin slash ash. And because Ash is a shell, we're instantly root. Wow. Not too hard, right? And we can do the same thing for bash, sh, csh, and so on. So we're not going to go through all those. Uh, but it's good to know that when you get on box, there may be other shells to use. And sometimes when you're using these escape sequences, if one shell doesn't work, try another shell. Uh, as you just saw in my past video, Topo, I was trying to use slash bin slash uh, bash for an awk escape. And that wasn't working. But when I changed it to slash bin slash sh, that worked fine. Um, speaking about that, let's take a look at the awk command again. So we have sudo slash user slash bin slash awk, right? We're going to do begin, we're going to do system, parentheses, slash bin, slash bash, close the parentheses, close that, close, yep, yeah, and, and tech. All right. And you can see that now we're root as well. So that's showing you how to use some of the shells, how to do some escape sequences. Let's look at VI as well. So if we do sudo VI, we're in the virtual environment. If we do a shift Q exclamation mark, that quits it. So we do sudo VI. We're in here when we want to do escape. Oops. So bang slash bash. And we're root. So you can see just using a number of these different programs that we can use sudo, how we escape from the shell. Now, similar to VI, you have e, uh, ED, um, you have Vim. Now, there's other programs in here, such as Curl and Perl. And 
there's tools out there that will help you identify the shell sequences for these. There's also Google as well. But if you run into such Linux Prib Checker, uh, the Python script that you can download, that tells you some of the SCADA sequences you can use. So as you can see here, for Perl, we can use Perl-E execute. Uh, so basically, uh, one line command to use Perl to execute uh, the system command bin slash bash, which will give us a shell as root. And you can also use find, find slash dash execute. So you're finding the file, you're executing it, and you're running it. Now here you're using find to find awk, which you already have um, sudo uh, permissions to run, to execute it. Now um, we can use curl to download and execute files. So basically we can write a shell script, have that hosted somewhere, and then basically download that and pass that to bash to be executed. So basically you can write a, uh, its own shell and sudo it for us to use. Um, what else is there in here? Uh, man, there's escapes from man, there's escapes from more. So basically what I would do here, if I was you, I would take some of these commands, go out and Google the commands, and figure out what, how do you escape out of that command to get root shell, or what can you use that command for to get root shell? Knowing how you can use these uh, normal services to misuse, and be able to misuse them to get to root, is very uh, key, especially when you're working on different boxes. Um, there's also some escape sequences, um, for your environments as well. Uh, there's a few boxes on HDB where you take uh, take uh, or misuse the environment variables of sudo to gain root or misuse root. Um, knowing that there's Docker on here too, I'm wondering if there's a way to do a Docker escape. As I said, I just don't have the time to set up all the networking properly or fight with the networking to try to get it to work. Uh, I spent about an hour earlier today trying to play with that to get it to work. So as you can see, there's several different ways you can quickly gain root on this VM. I would suggest going through the rest of these commands, learning how to use those commands through escape sequences or through misuse, through calling different functions to escape out of that command and get yourself to root. Uh, once again, if you like this comment uh, content, uh, comment, subscribe, like the video, share with your friends. Uh, as I said, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. We're about 220 subscribers currently. And there's a lot of great content on its way. If there's a certain VulnHub VM you would like to see done, let me know. Uh, as some of the hacked box uh, boxes start expiring, I'll start trying and look at doing some of those. But either way, leave me a message, comment. I know this is a short video, but there wasn't much to show you. Uh, when I first looked at the VM, it literally took me five seconds to start exploiting most of these uh, uh, most of these pseudo uh, vulnerabilities here. So if you have any questions, feel free to write. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Thanks, and have a great day.